Africa, there's my little group that I've got named as high achievers. Okay. Now another new bit that I want to look at is, is um, arrows in more complex um, uh, spreadsheets and we'll go back to the example that we had earlier on um, where we had the VLOOKUP um, um, uh, formula in it and we're going to look at something new that's called tracing precedence and tracing dependence and you're going to see once I put it on screen you'll see exactly what this is all about. So let's go back to screen and we'll look at the example that I had here and if I zoom in a little bit you can see that the, there are uh, there's a reasonable amount of data in this, but what there is is quite a lot of formulae in it. Now, I want to know, say for example, if we went to the, the final costs here, I want to know where what what has brought about those final costs. What were the the, the last couple of uh, calculations that made final costs? So I want to trace the precedence. And literally, it shows us there as an example. As soon as I hover the mouse over it, it shows the arrows show uh, the, that in and indicate what cells affect the value of the current selected cell. Well, I'm going to click on that, and you can see the final cost is made up of total cost plus VAT to produce final cost. Well, that's that little bit of formula. But of course, you know, then if I find out what total cost was, what functions were producing the total cost, I can remove arrows, click on total cost, go back up, trace precedence, and there I've got here, subtotal 2, less discount, produce total cost. Okay, that's fair enough. I remove arrows again. Well, how did we get subtotal 2? Subtotal 2, trace precedence, and we go across subtotal one and and backwards and backwards with it. I just want to go back so it shows you where the VLOOKUP uh, formulae came from. I'm going to remove those. Go back to there. Back up to trace precedence. We go back across the screen here and it's showing you that it goes from basic costs plus extra nights plus cost of extra nights etc. Again, remove those arrows, cost of extra nights, trace precedence, and now if we go back over to here, we can see that the VLOOKUP was, came from the original table, and the data came from the original table. I'll just zoom out so you get a, a better image of it. And the data in the original table that I gave my students was able to track back from Cyprus back to there, cost of the extra nights, and calculated it like that to produce all those different results which carried on one after the other, building on each other to produce the end result in our spreadsheet. And the idea of obviously tracing the precedence, we can see what affected the results as we go along stage by stage. So that's a new, a new little feature, and, uh, and I quite like that. Uh, and again, if I want to trace the dependence, I can do, and it works the other way as well. So that's that's quite nice, and I, and I, I, I must admit I quite like that system. Uh, and of course, on a, on a spreadsheet like this, we can use the, the, uh, the previous shortcut, the control and graph, to see what we've got in terms of all the formulas shown, and I'll just zoom in so you can now see some of the different formulae that perhaps you could be uh, practicing with and, and expanding your comfort zone um, and now that the, the, the new and more complex formulae are available uh, uh, literally uh, in your face on the, on the ribbon there. Okay, I'll zoom out on that. Okay, that's all I want to, to say about formulas because formulas have been around with us for some time, uh, but I think we've been we've stayed within our comfort zone and we've really not explored formulas as much as we could do. Before we move on, are there any questions relating to formulae? Yes, Steve, I've used sum and average before to uh, sum, obviously, to add up the figures for sales throughout uh, various months and average to 
give the average of what that is over that time period. Yeah, 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 that's good. And, and I would think that that's, um, um, you know, fairly, fairly commonplace where most people have used a few formulae, but, um, you know, they, they've stayed within their comfort zone. Uh, are there any other questions before we move on on this? Could you um, explain a bit more about the VLOOKUP formula that you've used there? Yeah, yeah, sure, yes. I, I mean, I mentioned it. I'm sorry, because I, I, I mentioned it once or twice. Uh, and, of course, it was something that was, uh, uh, is not new to 2007. But, uh, yes, you now you've asked. That, that, that one there. And um, what, what I wanted to do on this, on this uh, uh, spreadsheet, um, and let me just zoom in here. You see, for destination Cyprus, I wanted to, to find the basic costs. Well, it, it would have been uh, very straightforward to say to the students, well, I'll give you five um, uh, countries and, you know, there's the basic cost for them. You know, you infill them each time. But what I did was I introduced the VLOOKUP formula, which if I just move up a little bit there, you can see at the top of the screen, I introduced the formula to them. And of course, I, I, I would say to them, once you've established the formula and you've put it in, in one cell, if you were doing five, well, you could say to me, so what, I could put that in. But if you were doing 5,000 or 50,000 entries, it makes no difference to, um, to Excel. Once it's in once, you can drag it down and it does the formula, the calculations for you. So, so literally, what, what was happening here, uh, as we see in, in, the, uh, in the formula bar there, the, the D11 related to, if I just drop down the screen a little bit, the D11 related to this um, cell reference here. So that was fixed as D11 where I wanted uh, to, to relate from. And then we've got dollar sign B, dollar sign 4, colon, dollar sign E, dollar sign 8. And what's that D? That fixed the, the reference for the data to go from the Cyprus cell there and include the whole of basic cost, cost per extra night, cost of hire per, uh, car hire per day, and down as far as this bottom right hand corner, which was E8. Then the next part related to the two, and the two related to the second column that I was looking for, which was basic cost. Once I'd done that calculation, and I put false at the end of it, once I did that calculation, then it goes happily into there. I can then just move the mouse across until it goes to a fixed black cross in the corner, and I can just drag and carry that down, and it does however many um, calculations are needed. And, and certainly in, in this new version, I, I believe in the new version of, of Excel, there are absolutely um, something like a, a, a million rows, 16,000 columns, and 16 million colors to choose from. So, you know, you can do an awful lot of calculations with that. Uh, but no, that, that was good. And, um, you know, quite a, a, a complex uh, a formula, um, but, but really uh, it, it worked a treat on that. Good. Um, going back a bit to the trace precedents, I was just wondering, is it possible to tr trace it all the way back to the beginning? Yeah, Ivan, that's, that's a good question because what I did, I just did one at a time, cleared it and went back. Let's, let's look at, uh, if we go on final cost and I click at the top of the screen trace precedence, it takes me back to total cost. And, and interestingly, if I press again, it takes me back to the formulas straight away. I don't have to click on the cell, you notice. I just click trace precedence again and it keeps going back and back and back. And if I move across here, we've got everything right down to the very start. And uh, much as I can then, perhaps I can, I can zoom in so we can see, not that much, but I can zoom in and we can see where all the arrows have taken me uh, on this particular uh, calculation. So quite, quite useful, I think, um, uh, in, in seeing you know, how exactly a formula has been or an answer has been derived. So yeah, good, good point, yeah, nice one.